Hello, and we are back. Right, I'm not messing around today. I want Benyatite. So we're going straight on in if we can, uh, which we should be able to do nice and easily. No messing around. We are going to dig. What do we need? 39 copper, 12 bones, ooh, two bricks, and some seagrass. I think we are ready to go. Bang that bun. Gimme, 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 gimme. We are, we are solely here for Benyatite. I'm not, part of me almost thinks like, not even that worried about completing the vault, which sounds crazy. Ooh, we've got a buff. I see a buff in the corner. Another elixir. Oh, this is a, um, Okay, so this is a different type of vault that we've not done before because, oh, because you start doing them from level 10. Okay, so you see at the top there's a bar. It says gather elixir from loot, ores, and mobs. So you'll get little purple bubbles um, from doing certain challenges, basically. So if I kill things, I'll get the little elixir bubbles. If I loot things, I'll get the little elixir bubbles, uh, and so forth. Thing is, to complete this vault though, you don't exit once you're done, you actually, um, you, you have to find, uh, small little, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, it's like a thing. I hear them. Oh, there you go. Purple dots is the, uh, elixir basically. It doesn't directly mean that it's elixir. Where did the rest of those go? Some guys spawned, I don't know. Um, but we need to run round, basically. Which is great for us, because actually we just want to do mining. Uh, and I already see a place to do some mining. Up there. Let's just... Straight beneath it. Ah, ah, ah. Terrified me, that. Let's go straight up. Cool. And we're just going to dig away all of this. Uh, come on, get up. Hello? Oh, there is a, a spawner up here. There you go, gone. Benny a tight. That is what we want. Yes, give me all of the Benny a tight and the Leomar. Lovely, we've completed the bounty because it was to dig a certain amount of Leomar. Done, perfect. Um, we'll go slowly down. Okay, I hear a lot of people. We do have to try and if we want to complete this vault, um, do those objectives fairly quickly. Um, but I think maybe I'll get a lot of experience from looting rather than killing it seems. Because you'll, you'll get more experience based on certain things. Um, but that's fine, let's keep running. We do need to still mark the way out though, because if we don't mark the way out, if we get to say like two minutes and we still don't have all of the stuff done, we can't, uh, we, we can still escape through there, but it will be a failed, uh, be a failed vault basically. So it'd be good if we can find a nice way down. Um, nice way down. This is gonna be a nice way down. This is a nice way down, okay. We're just hunting for digging. Digging, lovely. Oh, I see a creeper. We need to make sure that we kill that at a bare minimum. Let's equip our healing. Oh, more digging. This is a good room for digging. We might actually get our knowledge shard, which could mean we can start to do some better stuff in the base. And we're doing all right on elixir. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We need to get the spawner that's in here. There is a spawner in here. There has to be. Oh, we're not bloody... Where's the spawner? Oh, God. I don't see the spawner. Um... Shoot. Where's the spawner? Give me spawner. We got loads of ores down here though. Um, 
well, we should actually heal, continue mining. There has to be a spawner down here. We're just not finding it. I'm seeing really good ores. I just don't have the time to focus right now on them. Um, like, we're getting tons of Beniatite. I think that was a black opal that we, we saw. Or that is. Which is a super rare ore. Um, not seeing a spawner down here, though. <laughs> which is mad. <laughs> We've just dug this whole thing up for nothing. Um, which is fine, I guess. No issue. There definitely should have been a spawner here, though, right? Okay. Well, no harm. Uh, we know there's more digging to be done over here. Did we mark this? Oh, well, we're downstairs now, so... If we didn't, we didn't. We're halfway, though, on our thing. Oh, there's another dig here. Perfect. That sounded like a fizzle. Uh, get digging. Look at all this Beniatite. With our fortune at home, we should be looking pretty. All the digs. I'm so glad we just decided to just jump into this. Rather than, like, faff around at the start of this episode. <laughs> like I normally do. We're just, like, generic, just sort of running around doing little bits that need doing. Okay, cool. That's another dig done. Look at our inventory. My god. There's another one in here. Can we break it in time? I see a Beniotite next to us. Even better. Love this. For us. More Beniotite. Man, if we had that bloody dig Beniotite quest right now, we'd be doing wonders. This pick's going to die, though, soon. I'm sure of it. Um... We need to make sure that we are picking up everything. Um, so let's just start to put away some of the stone itself, keeping the ores out for now. Um, just want to make sure that we're, we're definitely picking up ores, obviously. Um, okay, right. There was another one, though, wasn't there? We did that, we did that. Was it over here? No. I'm sure we saw another one down here. Maybe maybe those were the two we saw, though. Um, either way, very profitable. Very profitable indeed. Is there anything behind here? No, I just wonder why there was a wooden square there. Okay, I think this, this room's done. We still need to find an exit as well. Ooh, that was a bit, bit of a drop. Um, cool, okay. Let's go upstairs. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the exits look like. I have not fully seen them. Um, take that just for the sake of doing it. Uh, we move on. How much many times? Six. Okay, so we're definitely making a knowledge start this episode. And then unlocking storage drawers. Which will be good. I think that's the best thing we can unlock to start with. Because it will start to organise us a little bit. Let's go upstairs first. Uh, okay. That's not an exit thing. This is another dig site. This is so good for digging. That's a fizzle spawner, so we're okay. Just let it fizzle out. I heard it already fizzle anyway. Perfect. Swap to mining and just blitz it. Getting so many of the rare ores. It's great. Ashium. A bit more Leomar. Leomar, I know we're going to need for building the. Um, building the. What are they called? Bloody. Um, forgotten the name off the top of my head. Drawers, and that's it. This one looks pretty healthy here. Perfect. Swap to that. Yeah, that's fine. And we're digging. We are off to the races. We might even get enough for more than one knowledge star, if we're really lucky with our fortune as well. 
Oh my god, this is going to be a marathon of breaking... <laughs> I don't think we're going to get through two, um, two vaults at the end of this. I'd like to finish this vault, though, because it'll be our first um, elixir vault done, which would be nice. We've got to mine everything. You never know what hidden gems could be around. Alexa's speaking in the background, I'm sorry. She's invaded. Nothing. Cancel. No reminders. Remind me to suck one. That's right. Well, not, not me to. <laughs> you to. Christ. It's gone horribly wrong. I've managed to do myself in against a, a robot. <laughs> Fizzle spawner again. And it's another dig. You're healing down there, are you? Little healy boy. Oh, yes. Give me. We might even be able to make a pog at the end of this, which would be nuts with the... Huh. Okay. We just dug down a little bit. I think leveling up the dig speed was... While it's not extra looting, I think it was definitely worth it. We wouldn't have made it through this many digs this quickly um, without it. See, we're not picking up stuff now. We need to make sure we are constantly picking up things. Um, okay, right. Run round, make sure we grab everything. A little bit dark here. Would have been nicer maybe if we had a little bit of light. Um, but that's fine. It mostly seems to be um, vault stone that we haven't picked up anyway. Which is good. Uh, I'd like to make sure that the other two digs that we've done over here are the same thing. Like, we haven't left anything important. No, it doesn't look like it. Cool. Let's go back down. We still need to find an exit. We've got 13 minutes to find an exit and finish this vault, which we're looking good to finish, I think. It looks like a, some sort of, like, black monolith, though, I think, still, the exits. Um... But not, not entirely sure. Let's make sure we're reselecting hearts. That's another dig site. I think, while I want to, I'd like to also find an exit. <laughs> um, oh my god, more digging. You have to be kidding me. We've got to do it. Okay, I didn't hear a fizzle spawner, um, but there it is. There it is, 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 there it is. No, it's not working. Okay, that's fine. We got it, though. We got it. It's fine. Yeah, we got it. Okay. We're going to just need... There we go. We, we need to find... that. That's what it's called, a lodestone. There we go. We've got 12 minutes to find one. I think it's worth taking the digging. That is the rare one we need, I think. Uh, oh no, wood tonight. No. Oh, I see you. I see you up there. We could do with a magnet, is what we could do with. Just to make sure we are definitely grabbing everything, but... Come on, we gotta find a... a Bloody... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's get out of here. Alexandrite. Oh, greedy. I'm bloody greedy I am. Okay, right. We need to find a lodestone. I think we... I think we reprioritize for that now. Um... So let's go into the next room. So we came from that way, so we're going that way. If we if we hit like the three minute mark, maybe we'll we'll start to run back. Um, if we're not looking like we're gonna find anything, that's while we're here. So many ores. Uh, sort. Okay. Cool. Right. Back at it. Lodestone. 
as long as we can find one, we can then just start to do whatever we want again. Um, I heard the boys drop behind me. There we go, okay. Find me a lodestone. Anything over here? Nothing interesting. Okay. Up, maybe? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. This might have been where Observer was good. Um, but you live and learn. We got rid of it, obviously, because we prioritised other things. Oh my god. Hello. 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 Oh my god, it's getting bad. Um... Bad, 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 so, I mean, it's one of those, really. A little annoyed. Uh, nothing useful in there. I just want to make sure we're not missing out on any of yours now. So let's have a, a fun time breaking down these ores, shall we? So, if I put this in here for now, and we... Oh, no, 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 no. We put this on our hotbar. So we got two Alexandrite, two Ashium. 10 Beniatite. Oh, that's going to do us very good. Uh, one Penzanite. One Sparkle Team. Three Tubium. Uh, one Painite. Uh, six Wootonite. Let's come back here. Uh, Black Opal. One Echo, which is the most important one. So we're going to put this just over here separately. Uh, five of this, and then just a sweet, holy Jesus amount of layer mark. Let's put all of this down, and we're going to get mining. I'm a little annoyed I died, I think you can tell. But look at this for a collection of ores that we collected. We're actually getting good at this game enough that we can collect that stuff now. So let's first off start one at a time. So that was two for three, not bad. Two for three, two for seven, very good. Okay, so this is what, four, uh, eight, ten, right? So in that ten, we got twenty-four which combined with the bits we've already got, 16 times 2 is 32, so we could actually make two knowledge stars if we have enough essence, which is nuts. Okay, so on to this one. One for five on the Penzanite. Sparkle team, one for two, not bad. Uh, three for two, Ooh, a little risky. One for one on the Painite, that's fine. How we, oh my god, that was quite a lot. Uh, I think that was six for eight. Five for 15. Oh, three X some of these. This is the nuts one. I think it was like 36. So I reckon we're getting over a stack quite easily. Yeah, look at all of that, Leomar. Okay. Now this is the very important one. If we can get one of these, that's a win. We got more than one. We got three. Echo gems are so rare. Um, okay, that's real good. Uh, yes, okay. We should, we should lock and Extract filtered out of all of these, I think. Make sure we've got all of the gems that we ever have. And I think we 
we put these in a separate chest. I think these make sense because, so a pog is this. So you need nine different types of gems. We're definitely missing some of them, but um, basically you, you use them to make like crazy things. Uh, crafting upgrades, I don't even know what some of these things are, but like all the high-end mod stuff you use them for. To make an echo pog, yeah, we're far off. Far, far off. Um, we could do with a chest for these. A little little chest would be nice. Separate from everything for all of our gems. Let's put it ne oh, let's put it there. Let's put all of our gems in here for a second. And now let's take out these ones. Black opal isn't unique. Because it's the ones that say a unique vault gem. So uncommon, a unique vault gem, a unique vault gem, a unique vault gem, a unique vault gem, rare, uncommon. So we've got one, two, three, four, five of them out of the, so it's yellow, light green, pink, tubium, okay, wait, so yellow, we're missing light green, uh, where does that one go? Uh, bottom corner. So we don't even use the Echo Gems to make a pog. So we've only got four out of nine, which is great, great success. Um, let's see about doing this then. So we're going to need this, we're going to need this, we're going to need this and this. I think that's everything we need. So if I come over here, we make more of these, 13, so to make a knowledge core, so to make a knowledge star we need knowledge core, knowledge core needs an extraordinary which needs, yeah, okay, so we need to do one, two, three, four, we can't make two right now so we won't do it, then we'll do this which makes this, and then we'll do this which makes this, and that is actually our first, um, Knowledge that, and we're close to making a second. Let's make another chest, like we did at the last base, for our knowledge star progression, basically, um, because we're quite close. But this is a big moment. One unspent knowledge point. So we get to spend that here. There's a couple different things that we can unlock, but of course they all cost points, right? So. For example, trash cans are one, vault compasses are one, elevators and so forth. We could do with a storage of some sort, to be fair. Um, there's a lot of things in here that we can't afford. Um, yeah, I'm looking around now. Not seeing a lot we can afford, actually. Dark utilities? Okay. Pipes, blah, 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 blah. Applied, refined, colossal chests, and simple storage or drawers. Now, I like the idea of doing drawers and then simple storage networks. Um, so let's unlock drawers. We can now make all of these things here, but they cost a fair bit to do. So for example, one drawer, costs four chromatic iron and four driftwood per draw. If we make a two by two one, oh, it's the same thing to be fair. Literally exactly the same. Okay, so it's not the worst, but it's not the best because we can chuck upgrades in them to try and organize ourselves. So it is a little annoying to make a draw controller on the other hand we do need a pog, and we do need some extraordinary alexandrite uh, and black chromatic, which needs the perfect opal. So there's a, we're a long way away from the controller, but we can start to make um, yeah, we can start to make. I mean, these for example, it's just chromatic steel plus a perfect dark opal, which we have enough to do. Um, so we could do that now, for example. Then we need two drawers, 
an extraordinary... Let's, let's build a, another chest towards our progress towards this, shall we? Let's do this. Let's do four of you. Makes a perfect, uh, extraordinary one. Let's put you over here for a second. Uh, then we needed... Draw controller needs two perfect. So that's two... S oh no. Right? That one? Yeah, okay. These convert back, right? Yeah, they do. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that's those. So we've got those. Uh, we could make two draws quite easily now. Um, I want to get this, this, this. Uh, do we not have any more? Ooh. We are running a little low on chromatic iron. We can take that though. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're running a little low. Um, because we need to make eight chromatic eye... Oh, well, didn't we put some on? Yeah, we cooked some up. So let's have a look quickly. So to make this, we need to make chromatic steel. To make that, we use the chromatic iron. And we need four of these. And they, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. you having a little joke at you. This makes one? So we have enough to make... Okay, wait, no, I think I, yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to do, so we need to make 8, 16, uh, 32 of this. We can make five, which is not even enough to make one. What's holding us back? Carbon, isn't it? Uh, recipes? comes from these two types of chests, okay. We need a lot of carbon. Because that only allows us to make six. Okay, right, well, we can put this in here, this in here. Um, don't need to put that in there for now. How much would we need of chromatic? Uh, so, four to make one. And we need to make 32, so it's 32 times 4, that's, oh no, two stacks, and we have a stack and a half, okay, not great, um, we can smelt this at least, chuck that in there, um, okay, right. That's, uh, it's given me a different look on life. We are not close to doing this. Uh, what would be nice, though, is making at least one draw for all of the bloody, um... All of the bloody um, vault stone that we're getting. There we go. Oh well. Some flowers are fine. Uh, let's get our axe. Because it would be nice to at least make one draw after all of this that we've done. Um, so we've got this stuff, right? So we need chromatic that. And that should be enough to make a, a draw. Should we make a a regular draw? I see, so this is how you make the varieties. Let's make a regular draw for a second. Let's put it here. And now let's take our vault stone, because we got a lot of it from doing that. Uh, and if we're gonna keep mining, it's probably gonna be necessary to have an easier place to put it. 
which means we can then take out, well, we don't need the vault cobble. This is polished vault stone. How do we get that again? Uh, cooking vault cobble, oh, into polished vault stone. Vault stone in a stone cutter, I see, okay, right, well, we can leave the polished stuff then. We did, though, complete our chest here, at least, which is good. So we can claim this. Oh, which gives us some more knowledge and some more um, chromatic iron, which is always useful. Uh, withered boots. Ooh. They might be better than ours. Five armor. So just better in general. Better in general. Plus one armor, knockback resist, and item rarity. Yeah, they are just a straight improvement, which is nice. Uh, we can also chuck this in here, which puts us one step closer to another knowledge zone. Because realistically, let's take inventory for a second. We need two to get simple storage networks. And then if I come here, simple storage. So to do this, we need a, a request table, which needs a pog. Um, Christ. And then what the hell was that noise? Hello? OK. Um, yeah, and we need like cables export cables, all sorts of things. It's going to be a little expensive in our future, which means we need to go vaulting. Um, uh, four of those. We need to pick another bounty. We're not doing that one, are we? So maybe let's re-roll that one for a second. Ten knowledge essence, or three wild focuses. Kill husks in vault six. This might not be the worst. Um, this is quite nice, obviously. Um, neither of them get me anything I really want. Um, but this is experience as well. Let's do that one. Um, one of these, bing, bang, bong. Let's then chuck you on here. 17 melons. Ooh, we don't have any basalt. Leather and iron. Okay, so... Melons, I, I don't actually know if I can do either. Um, we might need to... <laughs> unfortunately, we might actually need to fly back to our previous home. Uh, because we still haven't set melons up here yet. Um, maybe this is a good sign not to, not to run this vault now. And for me to do some off-camera bits in between episodes and then come back because actually I'd like to set up some melon farms like in these little cross sections here where I haven't put anything um, and it's going to be a pain to fly all the way over there um, seven iron, four leather, yeah and then we need to find basalt as well which I don't think, we will pop our head into the nether uh, and we need iron, Christ, seven iron yeah, four leather. Uh, leather will be in this chest. Let's have a look in the nether, uh, and then I think we'll we'll call the episode there because off camera I will go and have a bit of a redesign of our stuff. Oh, I can see again. There we go. Do that. Um, but if I yeah, I'm pretty sure we've only got one right now. Did we put it in the mob drops chest? Yeah, we did. So we've got two. Let me get another couple and we'll, we'll be looking good. 
um, for doing a wither fight. Because realistically, I either want a beacon like four in the middle here, or maybe one on each corner. But one on each corner obviously needs to go underneath the farms. Um, but that is for another day, I guess. Anything good in the shop? Not really. Um, these again, uses, can be used to modify Vault Gear to add a new random modifier because we do have these boots that are missing a prefix. So maybe we maybe we give this a go. We've not done this before. We're gonna lose all our wild focuses to make three amplifying focuses, and then we put the boots in, and that should. Yes, increased damage. There you go. See, that's pretty good. Do we have anything else that's missing? Uh, something? No. Everything else is socketed, I think. Ooh. Our sword's missing something, though. Soulbound. I mean, we'll take it. Soulbound is still good. It means when I die, I'll at least come back with the sword. Um... Oh, we got some some junk swords here. Love a good uh, stone sword. Definitely, I think if we compare this real quick, um, it won't even compare. It's that good. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that'll be us for today done. I will see you in the next one. Oh, wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video. I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything, go, go wild.